Cassandra's lawyer. He is so fine. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what's the actor's name? Swan Arlod. Oh, Arlod. I think that's how you pronounce his name. But he plays Vincent, which is the lawyer of Sandra. And he was so fine. Like, I did not know. Like, I don't know. Like, bro, I'm falling for like any guy that's not American. I swear. Like, I love Irish people. And our French guys, guys, like what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, he was super fine. And there is a scene of them, um, like there is so much tension between them, between Sandra and Vincent. And I was like, girl, was there something, be- like, was there something between you guys before all of this? And uh, they were like outside, and they were like drinking, and they were like both of them were like a bit tipsy.
called like physical touch and um, any sort of like lo love language would mean so much to you more than the other person if you know what I'm trying to say like May our main character um, she falls in love with like this guy named Adam and the way he like caresses her hand I mean caresses her, her face and like touches her it means so much to her like even a simple hug and it just shows how like how much like you know when you're so lonely and stuff like that you just crave this and like this type of you know love and stuff but in her case it gets too obsessive and too clingy my bones are literally cracking so i'm so sorry if you could hear that but yeah and she has this obsessiveness or like fetish with adam's his hands um and if i remember correctly i watched this like 2021 i think so it's been a while but if i remember correctly she did chop off his hands so yeah it's it's weird but yeah and there are like some scenes um because she's she works like at a vet clinic like i think like as an assistant or something but they showed like some scenes of like them cutting dogs open and stuff like that and it was weird but um yeah nothing too graphic i don't know but i don't want to like tell you guys something and then not being true you know what i mean but you'll see for yourself if you watch it but um yeah and it's just sad because you know like because like you know it's sad because once he moves on she doesn't move on and it's the fear of going back to square one and becoming lonely again and that's not what she wants you know uh like she just wants his touch and his love so yeah there's like going on Okay, sorry, I'm hearing something, but, um, yeah, and she just clings too much to him, and it's very sad, but it's, I gave this a four stars because it did scare the shit out of me, just, just a bit, just, just a bit, but it was still good, so definitely recommend this one if you're just trying to watch a, like, a different movie, you know, so, yeah, okay, um, So it 
present and you know they have a kid and stuff like that but they just are not thriving and I get it I get it you know in a relationship you're supposed to have arguments you're supposed to have this and that but guys what the fuck like it's just not the same in this film and it's very fucking sad and yeah when they play back well, well not play back one but when they like flashback to like when they first started dating it was so cute and so sad so yeah basically it's just very sad you know and like like i said it's reality with like relationships either you're thriving you're going up or you lose a spark and you go downhill no in between do you know what i'm saying like no in between and that's the fuck of it all like what do you mean what do you mean so um so yeah it's just very scary i don't know if i'm saying this because i'm scared of attachment maybe but that's not the point all right the point is is that this is this is reality and this is very sad because this happens in most relationships but they never really leave each other which is also sad because i would encourage you guys you know if you're in a relationship i've never been in one um but just common sense okay let me tell you a bit of common sense if you're in a relationship with someone and you don't have that spark anymore leave them for the love of god leave them please don't still be with them and act like everything's fine don't all right i don't know if i may sound like i don't know what i'm talking about but trust all right if you're with someone and you don't have as much feelings as before or you're starting to question shit leave don't stay and start being with other people at the same time or don't act, just don't act like a dumbass don't act like an idiot just please don't act like an idiot all right um i've had experiences in my life where that has happened not to me but to others and it's very fucking sad seeing that so just moral of the story don't be an idiot So th- 
this girl can't choose between and this girl literally like I can't cause she's lucky she's lucky this girl has to get to freaking kiss Killian Murphy but like whatever okay but um yeah like it was good acting it was you know it was good oh my god I'm at the reviews right now and someone someone said I would join the KGB too if it meant I got to fuck Killian Murphy and Luke Evans. <laughs> Bro, they're not wrong though. Um, but like, I don't know. It's just, it's an entertaining movie. Um, so watch it. Like, there's not much to say. It's just, you know, like they're trying to like, like, uh, what's it called? Like pretend to recruit her for like a model agency thing when she starts her assassins and stuff like that so it's it's confusing but like it's it's very fun and yeah so go for that one honestly um uh which one else should i do um all right i'll do a more funny one or this is like a so this one is ready or not this is released in 2019 um i love this movie this movie is so good i gave this one a five star so a bride's wedding night takes a sinister turn when her eccentric new in-laws force her to take part in a terrifying game so yeah she gets married um to this dude and his family every time it's like a dude tradition every time a new family member comes in they have to pull out a card like a playing card and whatever it tells you to play you have to play it now the whole like i guess like the whole like the whole catch is that if the new incoming family member pulls out the hide and seek card they all of them they have to kill that no family member before sunrise otherwise they are all gonna die and that's and like they think that because it's part of like the traditional thing or like it's part of like a saying with the um the family member that created all of this like generations ago you know and stuff like that and so samra weaving stars in this oh my god this girl screams so much and such a girl boss you know? <laughs> so yeah um but yeah she like okay like when they put her in like the room and when they're all like trying to take out like the cards and stuff and when she pulls out like when she pulls out the hide and seek card her husband um like looks around at his family and he's like oh shit we really got to do this and they told him beforehand they told him beforehand he was like you know what's gonna happen if she pulls out that card right so yeah this dude knows and she thinks that oh like this is such a funny joke like you know we're just gonna be playing hide and seek girl no they're literally gonna they're gonna find you and they're gonna kill you so yeah um and the movie just follows throughout them trying to look for her and stuff like that and they get pissed off because obviously you know if they don't find her before sunrise they're gonna die so yeah basically um she gets scared out as she should because hello someone just got fucking shot right in the face in front of her and you know and then that's when she hears the family because they gather around the dead body and that's when they hear uh that's when she hears them like oh we need to find her now otherwise we're gonna die we need to kill her now you know and stuff like that and that scares the shit out of her and the husband is right next to her and she's like she tells him she's like what the fuck is going on like what the fuck is going on and he tells her go hide and something like that you know and she tries to escape like she goes outside of the house and tries to escape but like they live in such a secluded area and they're rich as fuck so they have like this big old fence and yeah and like they try to like sacrifice her and whatever and it's so fucking weird but it is so funny and scary but yeah they all die except for her and yeah she was the final girl and it was a very girl boss moment i guess so yeah i give 
this one a five stars because it was really good. I loved her acting so much. Everyone too, like everyone was just a good actor. So I really liked that one. That one was really good. So definitely, 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 definitely recommend watching that. Um, which one else should I do? Which one else should I do? Okay. Um, this one's another devastating love story. really sad movie, like really sad. Um, as a 13 year old fledging writer, Brony, Bryony, Bryony Dallas irrevocably changes the course of several lives when she accuses her older sister's lover of a crime he did not commit. So, uh, the character Kira Knightley plays Cecilia. She loves, she falls in love with Robbie, which is the character James, uh, McAvoy, Mc, Mco, McAvoy, is it McAvoy? Yeah. Um, they fall in love and stuff like that. But Bryony, uh, the character Sarsha plays, um, she gets jealous because apparently she had feelings for uh, Robbie, and she sees her older sister and Robbie, like you know, like at a little like you know, they're having their moment, and she sees them, and she's like, you motherfucker, you know, so she basically tells, um, oh, no, no, yeah, um, because, uh, what's her name, um, Cecilia and Robbie, they're, like, hooking up in, like, a library room, like, during, like, a party or whatever, and that's when Bryony saw them, and she was like, oh, hell no, and so she basically told like her parents and everyone that he assaulted her and raped her I think um so that was kind of fucked up he did not do that but she said it because she got jealous mind you this girl is 13 so basically he got taken away and at this time it was like during one of the wars I do not know which war I'm just the I'm just a girl alright leave me alone but yeah they took for that and she did visited him before he actually went into war and that was the last time they saw each other and then the movie follows out to what could have been you know how fucking sad that is it literally like after that after their last you know like after they saw each other for the last time it just shows scenes of how it could have, how they could have been, you know, after he came back from the war and stuff like that. And it was so freaking sad. And it shows how, um, like what. 
stars because again it, it made me really sad so that's why I took off one star but it is so upsetting also this iconic green dress hold on yeah that iconic green dress is engraved into my brain so yeah it, it's really sad 